this moment in your career and this point in your day. And exhale out anything that came before. When we can truly allow our old habits, our old thoughts, and our old conditioning to melt away, we can rise powerfully and become truly ready for what's next while being firmly grounded in this moment. On your next inhale, breathe in and connect with anything you are ready to take on. Will it serve you? Will it elevate you? Will it empower and bring joy to those around you? If so, exhale any doubt in your ability to be ready to take on whatever goals you set for yourself today. that we're here to help people. We don't really know how, but there are times when there's just little acts of kindness that can go such a long way. Um, I was super sad about something today. My body was telling me not to do it. My mind is telling me to do it, so I feel like I'm being teared apart. And I have a really good friend who's been there for me since I've arrived in France. She's someone that I can count on. She's very, very motherly to me. Um, more like my, my grandma. And I feel like I can always count on her. And today I called her and she wasn't doing well and I felt like I had to be there for her yet I was there on the phone asking her for her insight about this situation and I felt like she needed me she told me that she she was sad and that she didn't know how to feel better and I said, I have to be there for her tomorrow. I have to take away everything from my agenda and just be there for her tomorrow. So I invited her to come have lunch with me. I'm going to cook her something really special. And I feel like that's what friends are really there for. We don't realize sometimes how much we have to help. And I'm really nervous because next week I have my first teaching gig at a Maison de Retraite um, in a residency for seniors, which is something that I've been tracking in my life for at least a year and a half now. I wanted to keep studying so that I can be an art therapist. And I just feel like it's in my path to help people. I've always painted, but I realized in Argentina how much helping people through art is, is my vocacion. You know, it's what I came here to do. Um, I've always liked, you know, sharing my art with people, but it doesn't even come near when I help someone achieve their inner potential through painting. And I want to be able to be in the U 
U.S. one day without it being so, so difficult in immigration for my husband. Um, it's probably been the, the hardest thing in my life. And I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I just feel like we trusted some lawyers to help us get these papers done. And I know that one day we'll be there. And in the meantime, life has put France in my path. And it's kind of crazy because, you know, we plan things and we look forward um, and have expectations and then just things go sideways and that's what life's really about you know know thyself and we just are really stuck in our comfort zones and it's crazy how when things actually happen um, It's because they have to happen. Um, things don't get put in our path unless we're ready to, to deal with them. Or not even ready, but we are, we are in the zone where we can try to be ready for this. So... I'm thinking of like situations of death or loss uh, in any kind. There's a reason why this happens. And I'm pretty sure if we are aware and we are in our bodies, we can make sense of it one day. Um, Um, I have so much more to say, but I want to take this, this space. I want to honor this space and whoever has come upon it and let you know that I'm going to be here. I'm going to be creating and I'm going to be helping through my art. So if you're here, there's a reason why you're here. And I'm really grateful for the fact that you and I have come, we have come through this path um, when it was New Year's resolution time. I wrote down a word that I wanted for this year. And even though we are almost in September, I know this word is community and Slowly but surely, it's coming in this path where it took me a while to get here and understand it, but every day it makes more sense. I feel like my fears, I mean, we all have fears, but I understand that our thoughts, they may be real, but they're not true. And that's something that I've come to realize through a lot of meditation teachers. Um, I'm truly, truly grateful for Tara Brach and her podcast. I really recommend you, you go listen to her. Um, my brother put her in my path when I wasn't doing too well. And every time that I can't sleep or I'm anxious, I'll put one of her podcasts on. And they're actually incredible. I mean, you'll, you'll see why. And I've been listening to Dan Harris's um, podcast as well, 10%, um, which my brother also gifted me this year for my 33rd birthday. And he said that, he, he said that although thoughts, they are so, so real, they aren't true. We put a lot of um, thoughts in our head. They come to our head and we take them to be true. But we don't question them. And 
so many of these thoughts are limiting, you know, we limit our own possibilities. We're the first ones to do so. Yes, we may have heard them once and once and again. We have may heard, we have heard that maybe people can't be artists because they starve. I don't know. I put that in my head before I actually was able to open my mind and my life to see artists that don't struggle. I mean, we all struggle, but that they don't starve. Um, I always tell people around me that the reason I do art is because I have to exist. It's the first thing I knew how to do since I was a little kid. Um, my grandma, she would hand me art materials. She was a painter. And she just saw it in me, you know? And I'm sure there's people around you that that see how capable you are and how good you are at something. And yet we don't always take these words into our mind to talk about ourselves. We, we let other things really just block us from doing things that we love and that not only we love, they're good for us, they're good for others. And I'm thinking about all the arts, you know, music, if you do music, theater, and although we're in these really, really hard times, there's so much around us that help, that helps us, you know, really reach who we are in the inside. Like, you know, you may do yoga or meditation or sports or running or whatever, and it helps you get to who you are, you know? You should do more of that. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Um, yeah, I started my vision board uh, maybe an actual month ago. Um, and I mean, it has what I need, you know, like house with my dog where I can create and my feet on the ground and tea. And then I had, you know, a camping set with a couple and that's already come true because my husband and I went camping. It's my husband. And then I have words. Um, they may be in Spanish, but to produce magic, artistic magic. That's what I want to do because I think art is magic. And I believe in the word and the idea of synchronicity because, you know, synchronicity is what happens when, is what happens when you're you know, in touch with that which you really desire and the universe will, will send it to you and you have to be ready to really see the signs around us, you know? And they say that you should write down the fact that you see the synchronicity, that you've realized that what you wanted was sent to you. Um, because then you're letting the universe know that that you see the synchronicity that you really you know are in touch with what you really want so on my vision board there's also teach kids and that's what I've been doing for the last three years here I've been working with families and I've really been able to achieve some well-being for these kids because you know um, either as a nanny or a um, an art teacher, I've been able to really just be able to connect creativity to, to people, regardless of the age. My happiest experience um, was in high school. Well, my high school, where I was invited to teach an art class for two months as a substitute teacher, and it was incredible. I mean, I was so, so scared to go back there. And the truth is it was magical. Um, I feel like students give back so much more than what you're ready to give anyone, right? So that was amazing. And I also have a surfboard with me on it, which I drew and we did that. We did that last week. 
with my husband. It was super fun. He had never been surfing. Um, I'm not good. I suck. I can't even get on the board, but, you know, I can't stand up and ride a wave. But I know that I'll get there one day. I mean, obviously I go every year. That's not enough. Um, but the, the fact that I'm, like, on the board and, like, holding it and connecting to nature, it's just a great place to be. <laughs> um... So yeah, I mean, we can attract what you what we want by seeing it every day. And something that I've been listening to a lot is the fact that we we should really be in touch with that what which we want. You know, like Atomic Habits. The more you do something, I haven't read the book, but I heard that the more you do something, obviously the better you're going to get at it and the more you're going to attract things within that realm. Say, I want to, I don't know, be a singer somewhere and the more I sing and the more, I don't know, I put myself out there on social media, the more that that will come into my life. And I met somebody really cool at the, um, the park well, it's like a fair where we buy vegetables on Fridays and she was singing in Spanish and I just couldn't stop listening to her and it was awesome. She's amazing and um, we talked and, you know, she's interested in doing my outdoor painting um, ateliers. So on Saturdays I'm going to invite people to come paint outdoors and that is something that I've had in my mind since a friend put, you know, said, I'd love to do that. And I'm like, why not? You know? Um. Hey, welcome to my second vlog on therapeutic painting. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Any questions you guys have, just feel free to ask me. Um, I've included a bit of a therapy moment from last year, which I'd love for you guys to reflect upon with me. Um, I was going through a bit of a moment there, so I'd appreciate uh, your guys's um, peace and I'm wishing everyone around the world a lot of it because we need it now and I'm hoping that painting and other arts will get us through these tough moments both you know personally and energetically with the world and right now I want to share with you the painting how it's coming along it's called the Far East and it's a abstract composition that's going to get a little bit more figurative as I go drawing certain areas so just keep watching, I love you.